Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today our lesson is about shopping at the supermarket. We've learned already about count and non-count nouns, and we also learned about vocabulary that we need for food items. But sometimes when you go into the grocery store, you need to find these items, and that can be confusing if you don't have the vocabulary for it. So today's lesson, as you can see, with our objectives, will be to know the sections of the supermarket and where to find things. We'll also briefly talk about when to use where is and when to use where are. So let's talk about starting with the sections in the grocery store. When you walk into the grocery store, you often see words on the wall or even in the aisles of the grocery store. This helps you find certain things, but if you don't have the vocabulary, it doesn't make it much easier. So we're going to talk about some of the vocabulary of the sections of a supermarket. So for example, in the supermarket, they have a dairy section. Dairy. Deli. Frozen. Bakery. Canned. Meats or seafood. Condiments, beverages, snacks or candy, produce, cleaners, cosmetics. These are different sections. Now you might need to look up some of these words, but I think when we start putting things in the sections, you'll understand. So for example, dairy is where we would find things that maybe come from a cow, like milk, or cheese, or butter. We would find those things in the dairy section. This is the word deli. Deli is when you find lunch meat or sliced cheese. You find that in the deli. There's also a hot deli where sometimes we like to go when we don't want to cook dinner and maybe we buy fried chicken or potatoes. We can get those items in the deli. Now this is frozen section. That one's pretty easy. Anything that we would put in our freezer, we'd find in the frozen section. Pizza, ice cream, chicken nuggets, all would find in the frozen section. In the bakery, we would find things like bread, donuts, muffins. Those would all be found in the bakery section. Canned section. Well, that's just like frozen. Anything that you would find in a can, like soup or canned vegetables, you would find in the canned section of the supermarket. I bet you can guess what you can find in the meat in the seafood section. You would find meat, like chicken, ground beef, turkey, or seafood, like lobster or fish, or shrimp. This might be a new word for you. This is the word condiments. Condiments can mean things like ketchup, or mayonnaise, or mustard. Sometimes even salad dressing would be found in the condiments section. Beverages is another word for the word drinks. So in the beverages, you would find soda or juice and sometimes a little beer. In the snack and candy section, you would find things like cookies or potato chips or crackers. And of course, we try to stay away from the candy aisle because you might find M&Ms or candy bars. 
Maybe we should stay out of the candy and snack section and spend our time here in the produce section. The produce section is where you would find all of your fruits and vegetables that are fresh. You find them in the produce section. Now there's always a section in the supermarket that has things that are not food. These last two are sections that are not food. There's cleaners. This is where you might find bleach or laundry soap or Lysol wipes. And then we have cosmetics. In the cosmetic section, you would find shampoo, makeup, those types of things are in the cosmetic section. So now that we have a little bit of an idea of what sections there are in the grocery store, pause the video and at least write these sections down on a piece of paper. Then you're going to look at all of the different food items that we've talked about in the last couple of lessons and see if you can figure out what section these food items go in the grocery store. So pause the video, write these things down, and then together we will correct them. Okay, so let's go over our answers and see how we did. First, we have the word apples. Before I put all of the items in the section, I want to remind you that we've already learned about count and no count nouns. I've done a favor for you and I have underlined the letter S in many of the words on the board. If it has an S at the end of the noun, it is a count noun. The other items are non-count nouns. Why is that important when we're putting them in the section? Well, we're going to practice some grammar with this. I want to remind you that when we use count nouns, we use the verb are. Where are the apples? If we're talking about a food item that is a non-count noun, we use the verb is. Where is steak? Where is the lobster? Down here, count noun, where are chips? So, now we'll go through each food item practicing the where is and then putting it in the section where it belongs. So let's look at the first word, apples. Where are the apples? Well, the apples are in the produce section. Steak. Where is steak? Steak is in the meats. Lobster. Where is lobster? Well, lobster is also in the meat and seafood section. Ice cream. Where is the ice cream? Well, hopefully the ice cream is frozen and it's in the frozen section. Chips. You see the S? So it's a count noun. So we're going to say, where are the chips. Well, chips are a snack, so they go in the snack section. Paper towels. Count. Where would the paper towels be? Well, they're a not a food item, so they would either be in the cleaners or the cosmetics. Well, they're in the cleaners. Hopefully, you put paper towels in the cleaner section. Potato chips. Well, potato chips are the same as regular chips and you would put them in the snack aisle. Dish soap. Don't eat dish soap. We clean with dish soap, so dish soap goes in cleaners. 
Let's go back to practicing the where is and the where are. Bread. Are you going to say where is the bread or where are bread? Where is the bread? The bread is in the bakery. Where is the cheese? The cheese is in the dairy. Where is the yogurt? The yogurt is also in the dairy. Where is the tuna? Tuna comes in a can, so tuna is in the canned section of the supermarket. Juice. Where is the juice? Juice is a beverage or a drink, so it goes in the beverage section. Eggs. Where are the eggs? The eggs are usually in the dairy. Where is the makeup? Makeup is a cosmetic. Makeup is found in the cosmetic section. Where is the sliced ham? Now, even though ham is a meat, we're going to say that sliced ham for your sandwich would be found in the deli. So sliced ham is in the deli. Mayonnaise. Where is the mayonnaise? The mayonnaise is a condiment, so the mayonnaise is found in the condiment section. I'm going to write the word mayo because sometimes we shorten the word mayonnaise and we say mayo. How about soda? Where is the soda? The soda is in the beverage section. Where is the chili? Now, when I say chili, I don't mean the kind of chili that you'd find in the produce. This is the kind of chili with beans and meat that's usually in a can. So in this case, the chili is in the canned section. Lettuce. Where is the lettuce? The lettuce is in the produce section. Donuts. Here we have the S. Here we have a count noun. So we're going to say where are the donuts. The donuts are in the bakery. Butter. Where is the butter? The butter is in the dairy section. Milk. Where is the milk? The milk is in the dairy section. Pizza. Where's the pizza? The pizza is in the frozen section. Pork. Where is the pork? Pork is a meat, comes from a pig, and we find it in the meat section. Pork. Ooh, I see another count noun, so we are going to ask the question, where are the cookies? The cookies are in the snack section. M&Ms. If you don't know, you're lucky, I know, that M&Ms are candy. Where are the M&Ms? The M&Ms are in the candy section. Nail polish. Where is the nail polish? Nail polish is in the cosmetics. Bananas. Count noun. So the question is, where are the bananas? The bananas are in the produce section. 
pies. Where are the pies? The pies are in the bakery. Shrimp. Where is the shrimp? The shrimp is in the meat and seafood section. Cake. Where is the cake? The cake is in the bakery. Pickles. Did you see the S? Where are the pickles? The pickles are in the condiment section. Soup. Where is the soup? Well, if it's in a can, the soup is in the canned section. Carrots. Count down. Where are the carrots? The carrots are in the produce section. Beer. Beer is a beverage. It's a drink. So where is the beer? The beer is in the beverage section. And our last one is a count noun, muffins. Where are the muffins? The muffins are in the bakery. Now I want you to try it. I'm going to give you some items and you're going to decide where these items go. So look at the picture and decide what section in the supermarket you would find these items. This is shampoo. Where is the shampoo? The shampoo is in the cosmetic section. Let's try this. What is this? This is whipped cream. Where is the whipped cream? The whipped cream is in the dairy section. What is this? This is a candy bar. Where is the candy? The candy is in the candy section. What is this? This is toilet paper. Where is the toilet paper? The toilet paper is in the cleaner section. What is this? This is ketchup. Where is the ketchup? The ketchup is in the condiment section. What are these? These are crackers. Where are the crackers? The crackers are in the snack section. What is this? This is a package of chicken. Where are the packages of chicken? They are in the meat section. What is this? This is lipstick. Where is the lipstick? The lipstick is in the cosmetic section. What are these? These are frozen peas. Where are the frozen peas? The frozen peas are in the frozen section. What is this? 
This is soda. Where is the soda? The soda is in the beverage section. Let's look at this. What are these? These are onions. Where are the onions? The onions are in the produce section. What is this? This is a block of cheese. Where is the block of cheese? The cheese is in the deli. So that's going to conclude today's lesson, but let's look at the objectives and make sure that we have done what I said we were going to do. So our first objective was to know the sections of the supermarket and where to find things. I think we've had lots of practice with that. Nicely done. The second objective was to understand when to use where is and where are. I think you remember where is non-count, where are count nouns. So for now, we're finished. Please come back and see me. I'm so glad that you've let me come on this journey with you to learn ling English. See you soon. I know. You can't, you can't mispronounce English. Oh, I know, but I'm trying to figure out where to where to come in at. No, oh, just so thank you for. So thank you for coming to Kim's class, and thank you for letting me come on this journey with you to learn English.